Welcome back, Constellation Hunters. Tonight, we're going to stick with an area of the sky known as the sea. And we're going to find Pisces the fish. Two fish can have them by their tails with a cord. Now, it's another faint constellation, and it's hard to find on its own. But lucky for us, we have the bright Mars to help guide our way. So I've got my coat, I've got my star map and sketching gear, so let's get going. Pisces is another dim constellation. However, it does have three stars that will help you sketch it out. After sunset, look high in the sky to find the bright red planet Mars. Mars is located just under the easy to find fall square that marks the body of Pegasus. The second brightest star in Pisces, Gamma Piscium, is just to the west of Mars and just under the fall square. It marks the head of the western fish and the asterism known as the circlet of Pisces. From Gamma and the circlet, there are several faint stars that trace out the V-shaped cord connecting the two fish. At the bottom of the V is the star El Resha, and the second part of the cord then passes through the brightest star in Pisces, Alpher. The constellation finishes at the eastern fish, marked by three faint stars in a triangle shape, Tau, Upsilon, and Phi Piceum. So even though Pisces is one of the 12 zodiac constellations that people may know about, and it takes up a large portion of the sky, its faint stars make it harder to find. Luckily, we have Mars this fall to help guide our way to Pisces. Our last two constellations have been harder to find, but I hope you're not getting discouraged. Next time, my favorite constellation is finally in the sky, Orion the Hunter. So we hope you come back and join us as the winter stars start hitting center stage. Until next time.